It is uh, 9 in the morning. I just slept at the supercharger. Well, not literally at the supercharger, but right next to the supercharger. So I wanted to do this um, experiment to see what happens when you plug in with really cold battery at the supercharger, which happened some many times. I see posts daily, people complaining about slow supercharger speed. So le let's show you what happens when, when the battery is really cold. So um. Well, cold-ish, I would say. Uh, there are worse conditions than this, but uh, you see here, six degrees Celsius outside. I'm not sure what kind of temperature the battery has because I did use uh, this uh, function here, the keep climate on, uh, but last night I switched on range mode. Uh, so I'm not sure what the keep climate uh, does, if it whether it uh, whether it uses. Um, uh, the battery heat or not but uh, you see at least that we have a region limit here of what looks like 30 kilowatt or something right okay so well, let's plug in and see how many kilowatt we get uh, the, the state of charge is kind of high but uh, still you know if the battery was nice and warm we should get okay speed right so at well, at this state of charge, we should at least get 50 kilowatt. So let's see, what do we get? Uh, okay. That's it? 30? Well, I know for sure that... I know that I... I, I have screenshots that I received 48 kilowatt on Chadamo at 80 percent so let's see yeah 72 percent you see i should have gotten at least 50 kilowatt and now i'm only getting 30 kilowatt so even with that uh, region uh, well you see we still have some region uh, limit um i should try to reproduce this somewhere really cold like <laughs> like ghoul or oh Alvdal, Alvdal, oh yeah Yes, I have to sleep in Aldal and record this. Yeah, then we should see. I mean, worst case is I saw a dude. It was really cold, and he he came to me and he asked me, "Oh, well, why is the supercharging so slow?" He was kind of low here, you know, and he only received seven kilowatt. <laughs> yeah. So again, uh, to repeat, what you should do is, in order to gain the best speed. One, you have to have warm battery. Two, state of charge should be kind of low, let's say 30%, 20-30%. And three, don't share charger with anyone. So that means, um, see here, 4B. This one is the 4B stall. And that one over there is a 4A. 4A and 4B shares the same charger. Um, because if you see here, we have we have eight stalls, right? But we only have four charger stacks. That's how uh, the most Tesla supercharger are configured. There are some exceptions with the new urban chargers. Those are 72 kilowatt each. But uh, uh, at least for these ones, let me explain to you a bit more. See here, we have four chargers and two and two share, I and mean two and two stalls share one charger. So what happens is that if, okay, if let's say I'm charging on one A and I'm getting uh, one charger, at least the, the new ones here, they can, they can deliver about 120 kilowatt. So if I'm getting 100 kilowatt from this one and you plug in, then actually something weird happens. Mine drops to 90 kilowatt and you get 30 kilowatt. So it's actually bad for me that you plug in there. But uh, in the other case that if I'm getting, let's say, um, 120, right? Yeah, if I'm getting 90, then you only get 30. Instead of, if you use that one, you will also get 100 or whatever you, you would get. Um, so you, because I'm the first one, then you get the remains 
or whatever I have but there is also an exception like I mentioned oh yeah the plug there by the way it's loose because the the mount is uh, flimsy I showed you in the other uh, video actually I'm curious because this one is probably is probably worn worn in that way that it won't, yeah you see it, it won't stay it's so damaged now it won't stay there uh, something has worn out I, I cannot I, yeah it won't stay so that's really bad um, yeah so, so uh, why do you make this video because you know at least in Tesla owners club Norway yeah Norway that's the key <laughs> uh, the, the 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 hint that in Norway it is so cold and in, in the Tesla Oldest Club Norway group with Facebook we get daily like um, post sometimes several several times a day people asking why is the supercharger so slow this is supposed to be supercharger it's not supercharger it's slow charger but almost in every case they have two like two high state of charge they are sharing charger with someone or in most most cases the battery is way too cold like driving half an hour is not enough it, also if your battery was like frozen cold like zero degrees celsius minus five degrees celsius even then driving one hour is not enough to make the battery hot, hot enough you in that case you have to preheat the car uh, for half an hour it will bring up the temperature a little bit and then if you drive half an hour one hour then you might have good enough uh, like hot enough battery to get full speed yeah all right so i cannot say this enough <laughs> but uh, i think that's it for now i hope you guys learn anything from this and i hope we will see slightly less of those posts because uh, people on the norwegian group are getting a little bit tired of all the posts <laughs> all right then uh see you guys later